Sister Johnson, uh, one of you other mothers. Cause y'all come on up here, take your time now, come on. One of y'all, but Mildred, you feel like walking? Come on, Sister Mildred, come on now, y'all take your time. Come on, come on. Shake, shake these folks' hands, start with that sister. Come on, shake a hand now. Come on, shake the hand. This is what, this what y'all apostolics do. I'm going to demonstrate this and roast you like chestnuts on an open fire. That's what y'all do. All right, y'all go on back now. Go on. You all right? All right, come on. Y'all go on. Come on. Now, viewers, y'all can go ahead and get seated. I'm going to demonstrate this. <laughs> How many here came from so-called apostolic church who experienced exactly what I just demonstrated? Raise your hand. Do y'all see this, viewers? Now, let's compare what the apostolics do with the rise of fellowship with the Bible. Bible. Let's see the second chapter of Galatia and see who gave the right hands of fellowship. That's right. And who received it. That's right. All right. Back in Galatians chapter 2 and at verse 9. Follow me. And when James, Cephas, and John. Now, James, Peter, which is Cephas, and John, they were apostles. That's right. God sent, God anointed, God appointed apostles. That's right. Who was in that private meeting along with Paul, Barnabas, and Titus, the elder. That's right. All right. And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, uh -huh. received the grace that was given unto me. What did they do? They gave to me and Barnabas. No. To Paul, Barnabas, and Titus. They gave to me and Barnabas. No. To Paul, Barnabas, and Titus, and the women that got saved under Paul's ministry. They gave to me and Barnabas. No. Paul, Barnabas, and Titus, and the deacons. Amen. They gave to me and Barnabas. No. Paul, Barnabas, and Titus, and the evangelists. They gave to me and Barnabas. What? The right hands of fellowship. What they done? That's right. It's not the way you doing it. That's right. It was given from apostles to apostles. Yeah. From apostles to apostles. That's right. From apostles yeah. to apostles. That's right. Nowhere in the history of the scriptures yeah. where women, children, received the right hands of fellowship, not even deacons got it. That's right. Now you say it's for everybody. All right. Then that should have been part of the teaching when the apostles would go preach. That's right. Who would take God when Peter came to Cornelius' house while he had spake the word. Holy Ghost fell, and then he said, can anybody forbid water? water. That these should not be baptized, we have the Holy Ghost uh, like, 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 like we. And he commanded, he commanded them, to be, them baptized to be baptized in the name of the Lord. They received the Holy Ghost first, That's right. and the baptism afterward. After. But Peter didn't come back and say, anybody want to be fellowshipped yeah. into the church? No. Not one! No. Philip, who oh, take God the evangelist, went on down to Samaria. Yeah. And uh, overturned even Simon the sorcerer. Right. And the word of God was preached. And they were baptized. That's right. But then they waited and the apostles came in who, town. Who when they would come down pray Give for chapter them. And verse. In Acts chapter 8 we're at verse 15. Who when they came down. Pray for them that they might receive for the Holy them Ghost. them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them. For as yet the Holy Ghost didn't fall on none of them yet. Only they were, Only baptized, they were baptized, baptized in, the name, of the, Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then laid they their hands then on them. Then laid their hands on them. And they received the Holy Ghost. And they received the Holy Ghost and the right hands of fellowship. Then laid they their hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost. You wait a minute. Aren't you missing a few words there? No words missing, Pastor. They received the Holy Ghost and the right hands of fellowship. Then they laid they, their hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. On the day of Pentecost. Yeah. That's right. When the Holy Ghost fell. That's right. And Peter stood up with That's the right. eleven. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And reached back and got and preached David. David. 
and said, I'm David declared, thou shalt not leave my soul in hell, in hell. neither suffer the Holy One to see corruption. corruption. Peter preached this with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. And while Peter was preaching, then when they heard they, this, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. I got pricked. And said unto Peter and to the rest of Peter the apostles. And the rest of the apostles, and brethren, brothers, what shall we do? What should we do about this man message? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. I got information for you. That's right. Yeah. Repent. And be baptized every one every of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus of Christ. Jesus Christ. For, for what? For the remission of sin. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And the right hand of fellowship. And ye shall receive the gift of the gift of the Holy Ghost. And the right hand of fellowship. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is what you fellow have added to the new birth. That's right. That's right. You have, you preach baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, and you add the right hand of fellowship to the new birth That's and right. to be put in the church. That's right. Baptism, Holy Ghost, right hand of fellowship. The Bible don't put it that way. St. John chapter 3, right and verse 5. And preach that way. That's right. Jesus made it plain. Jesus answered, verily, verily, Jesus. I say unto you. Jesus Answer. Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Verily, I say unto thee. Go and take God. Hallelujah. Verily, I say unto thee. Go and take God. I say take. Except a man be born of water, a man is born of water, of water, and of the spirit, and spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You can't get in. That's right. Hallelujah. Not born of water and spirit, right? And right hands of fellowship. No. No. It's an error. That's right. It's an error. Amen. It's wrong. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. It's error. That's right. It's wrong. It's wrong. The right hand is fellowship is right when it's done like scripture. And when James, Cephas, and John are apostles. Three pillars. That's right. Apostles. From apostles. That's right. Given to apostles. That's right. When James, Cephas, and John received to me, pillar perceived the grace that is given unto me. They gave to me and Barnabas. They gave to me and Barnabas. The right hands of fellowship. That's the apostles' doctrine. Yeah. That's right. And we're going to leave it just like that. Amen. No woman should be getting the right hand of fellowship nor giving it. No. no. No brother who's not an apostle should be given the right hand of fellowship or on the receiving end of it. That's right. No child should be receiving the right hand of fellowship. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Come on back. That's right. His era. That's right. You can be God called and God sent of a truth. Oh, yeah. Have an anointing from God. That's right. So I say, well, why didn't God reveal it to the former bishop? Listen, the Bible says this. The path of the just is as the shining light. How does that light work? That shineth more. And How? more. It shine more. And more. And more. Unto the perfect day. Until Jesus comes. That's right. Pass that means dust. this, a God sent man cannot do or preach any more than what God makes known to him. That's right. That's right. I'm God sent. That's right. And know it. But I still was in error. Yeah. Until God opened up my understanding that's right and i stopped that going around shaking everybody's hand like i'm captain america <laughs> amen that's right more than ever yeah. i'm determined that's wonderful to do it, do it like it's written but the path of the just is as the shining light the path of the just hallelujah hallelujah is as a shining light that, that shines, shines more more and more it gets brighter unto the perfect day that means god adds to your knowledge and it's get brighter precept upon precept that's right precept upon precept line upon line line upon line here a little there a little there a little. a little. 
Amen. That's right. Yes, is it written? Now in First Kings now, chapter so eight. What 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 this what what this book does is challenge your loyalty and your humility. That's right. Are you more loyal to a apostolic organization, or is your loyalty to God? That's right. All of you apostolic churches that giving the right hands of fellowship to anybody. And it ain't like the Bible. Stop! Amen. Stop! That's right. I said. That's right. Who read that? God, come on back the Bible. That's right. Come on back. That's right. You people that go to these apostolic churches for the first time, and they may be telling you some truth. And when that bishop get up and say, "Anybody want the right hand of fellowship?" He's asking you, do you want to join their organization? Yes. Yeah. That's why when you stop going to their organization, they say you out the church. That's right. That's right. I got some good brothers and some good sisters that been coming here for a while now uh, from the Holy Temple. Some from Columbia, some from the headquarters in Bronx. And some from other places. Amen. I got some that been coming here for years. Amen. But Amen. then you'll find those who claim they believe us won't speak to you. Yeah. They are taught don't speak to you. Yeah. They are taught shun you. Amen. Since when did you become so better? That's right. Why would you shun someone? We have had people left for us church. Yeah. Yeah. And when I see them, I speak to them. That's right. I'm, I tell them, what well, when you get a chance, stop on back. Yeah. I speak to them. Greetings. Yeah. Why? It don't take nothing from me because Jesus said with loving kindness have That's I right. drawn thee. That's right. Don't you hear Jesus preach he's married to the backslider? That's right. You haven't backslid because you left an organization. You backslide when you leave God. That's right. That's what backsliding is. Again, these bishops hijacked the terminology of backsliding. Oh, you left this organization. You lost. Says who? Says who? If that's the case, what about those who backslid before your organization came into existence. That's right. No, when you leave God, that's right. You're lost. Return, ye backsliding children. Did you hear this? In Jeremiah chapter 3 and at verse 22. Listen, what God making a plea. Come on back. Return, ye backsliding children. Come on back, children. ye backsliding children. And I will heal your backsliding. I. I will, I will straighten you out. Behold, we, we come unto thee. We come unto thee. For thou art the Lord our God. For thou art the Lord our God. No, thou art an organization. For thou art the Lord our God. Thou art an organization. Thou art the Lord our God. I told you. Behold, we come unto thee. So when family members are taught, don't speak to you, shun you and all that stuff, it may hurt, but don't feel bad. Which say, stand by thyself. Don't feel bad. Don't That's feel right. bad at all. That's it right. fulfills what's written because a lot of these people are innocent victims of bad, ratchet, no good, right. cheap teaching. That's right. Glory to God, but holiness, I'll bust it up. That's right. Ah! Isaiah chapter 65 well, and verse 5. bust it up, God knows. That's right. Uh -huh. Isaiah 65 and verse 5. That's right. Which say, stand by thyself. Mothers don't speak to their daughters. Fathers don't speak to their sons. Disown you because you left our organization. Amen. You come tell Pastor Jennings that I'll make you lick it up. That's right. I'll break that stuff up all with Bible. That's right. Which say, stand by thyself. Amen. 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 I invited one of the elders to speak for the youth conference. Elder Mac out of Columbia. I received a good report about him. Wonderful. And uh, Mac, uh, I hope it's not putting you on the spot. And if it is, well, you say you're a preacher, so be it. <laughs> and uh, I received word he said he had to pray about it. And uh, then I received a text and Bless God, he said, well, he thanked me for even considering him Wonderful. to come preach. And, uh, and because, you know, there are many preachers who got this dumb mindset. Yeah. Gino Jennings is not with us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm glad I'm not. Yeah. 
I'm over here with God. That's right. I'm with God. That's right. There's one body. Yeah. That's right. One. That's right. One Lord. Did you hear this? Now in Ephesians chapter 4, we'll start at verse 4. All right. There is one body. One body. And one spirit. One spirit. Even as you are all called in one hope of your call. Right out. One Lord. One Lord. One faith. One belief. One baptism. All right. Now, I wish I had the tray of glasses and the one cup in front of me. Amen. I wish I had it in front of me, but there's a tray. They got it in the gym and the old baptismal room. There's a tray and my old office in the gym upstairs. There's a box to have one, a box of one cups, bring one. And one of y'all get the tray. I need y'all to move quick. You got Huey who's slow. You got Shade that's slow. <laughs> Go ahead, Minor, run. <laughs> run. Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> oh, thank God. I want to demonstrate this. this we're going to show this, and, and I hope this answers your question. Now, another era within many of the apostolics, many, is how they pray for you. Right. Everybody that come up, they anoint them with oil. Yeah. That's not how the apostles done it. No, it isn't. And that is not the teaching or the instructions given to the church. That's right. Listen at this. In the book of St. James, chapter 5, we're at verse 4. I want to work on how should prayer or oil be administered and in what condition yeah. does the using of oil is required. That's right. That's right. This is good. This is good teaching, isn't it? Teaching. Amen. I just want to take my time. Yeah. You that go to these apostolic churches. And the bishop is just anointing everybody. Everybody. He's anointing you. Amen. All right. Amen. Let's see how it's done in scripture in the, and compared with the churches. That's right. All right. James chapter 5, we'll start at verse 13. Follow me. Is any among you afflicted? Yes. Let him pray. Wait a minute. You know, you can be afflicted and not be sick. That's right. Yeah. I don't say what? Why? Sure. Oh, yeah. You can be afflicted, but you ain't sick. That's right. You can be afflicted by having severe pain, yeah. bad back, and leg is hurting you real bad. Yeah. But you're not sick. That's right. You're just afflicted with kind of pain. Yeah. And is any among you afflicted? Is any of you afflicted? Let him pray. All right. Then the Bible advises you to pray. Is any Mary? Talking about the one that's afflicted. That's right. If you the one afflicted, let you come him along. Pray. You let him pray. The one that got the pain, you start praying. That's right. And is any Mary that him sing If songs? anybody is happy, well, you 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 do that's happy. Start singing. Is any sick among you? Uh oh. Yeah. If there is any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him. Doing what? Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Oil is called for when what? Is any sick among you? No. Amen. Anointing with oil because they say it pray for that I get a new job. Is any sick among you? Anoint with oil. Put it, hold it for me. Just sit right there. Uh, anoint with oil when they say, uh, 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 my eyes hurt. Is any sick among you? I got a headache. Is any sick among you? Eric. Is any sick among you? My fingers shake. Is any sick among you? I eat too much. Is any pray, sick? Pray, anoint me with oil so I don't be a glutton. Is any sick among you? That's right. Imagine being a member of a church and got a bishop, whoever the bishop is of any organization, who don't even know the biblical fundamentals. That's right. Of how to administer oil. That's right. In prayer. Amen. If you don't even know how to use oil over me in prayer why in the world should i trust you leading me to the kingdom of god that's right that's right did you hear the bible talking is any sick among you is there any any sick among you? any any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and then what should the elders do? And let them pray over Brother him. Brother Leon, find out what's taking the two slow brothers so long. Amen. 
Tell them my old office over there where the school is. Come on, Lee. Hurry up, brother. I need to find out what's taking them so long. Mm -hmm. All right. Is any sick among you? Yeah. Let them call for the elders of the church. They left before mine and mine ran past them and got back. First shall be last, and last shall be first. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. I want, I want the churches to know who are we, where they're going. I'm going to put them on blast. Them on We're blast. waiting on Shade and Huey. Y'all y'all make sure y'all email them and lay them out <laughs> for being so slow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on, William. Is any sick among you? Hey, viewers. Are you in the church? And your preacher asks, all right, all of you that want prayer. Come on up for prayer. Mm -hmm. That's not done the way the Bible is. No. The Bible ain't never said for the elder to call for a prayer line. No. The Bible speaks about who should ask for prayer. Is any sick among if you? If there's any sick among you, let him call. Let the sick one call. For the elder let of the, the church. Let the sick one call. That's right. That's right. That's plain. That's right. This is the doctrine of the apostles. Amen. Laying down instructions how prayer is done and how oil is administered. Is any sick among you? There's any sick among you. Let him call for the elders of let the church. Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over them. And let him. the elders pray over them. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Now. Is it done that way? Or is everybody in your church getting their head shining? Sh shining. That's right. That's right. Is everybody in your church getting their head shined? Shined. Oily. 16th chapter Mark. Mm -hmm. Among many of you apostolics, you teach that the women can lay hands on you. And, uh, and anoint you with oil and pray for you. Mm. So many apostolic churches teach, and this is the scripture that they use. Get me, get me, get me now. I want to roast you real good. In the book of St. Mark, we'll start reading at verse 17. Listen. And these signs shall follow them that believe. What is it? In my name shall they cast out devils. This is what they look at. The signs will follow believe. Right. Believers. Believe. And they say, well, they didn't say men or women. It just said believers. Listen, you got to right divide the word of truth and go to the scriptures. And I advise you to go throughout the book of Acts because A-C-T-S, Acts mean these, the performances that was done after the church started. That's and right. they show you who done what and who didn't do it. That's right. That's how you right divide the word of yes. truth. St. Mark chapter 16, we're at verse 15. That's right. And he said unto them... Go ye into all the world yes. and preach the gospel to every Let's creature. go back to where you are. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Fine, these signs gonna follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. It's gonna cast out what well, that's given to believers. That's right. Cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Believers gonna speak in tongues. They shall take up serpents. The believers will take that. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now let me explain that. Explain that. Come on, come through that door right there and sit down quickly now. Let's, let's explain that. Amen. That don't mean you're going out snake hunting. No. That's right. That don't mean you're going around hunting snakes like a fool. That's right. The Apostle Paul was gathering sticks, I believe it was. Too. So yeah, and when he gathered sticks. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks. I'm going to show you how this is fulfilled in the scriptures. That's right. And they shall take up serpents and it won't hurt them. Paul was a believer. That's right. But he wasn't going around hunting snakes. No. Let's write the Bible this now. Acts chapter 28, we'll start at verse 3. Get me. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks yes. and laid them on the fire, what happened? there came a viper out of the heat and a fastened his A poisonous snake. When that fire hit that snake, that poisonous snake, which was a viper, fastened on the Paul hand. And when the barbarians saw the venomous snake, and you know when that hand, venom hits you, your body's supposed to swell up and die. They said among themselves, when the barbarians saw that the snake was fastened to Paul, they said what? No doubt this man is a oh, murderer. Oh, this man must be a murderer. Whom though he has escaped the sea, uh -huh. yet vengeance suffereth not to live. Yes. And he shook off the beast into the fire. Look at him. He shook the beast off in the fire. And felt no harm. That's what it means when it said they shall take up serpents. serpents. They shall take up serpents. They shall take up serpents. They shall take up serpents. Yes. And if they drink any deadly they thing. They shall take up serpents. That don't mean he went and say, where the, is there a snake here? No. No. The flames, when he gathered them sticks, and a that viper. fire was built, that serpent fastened on a paw, and Paul shook him off, off in the fire because he was a believer. That's right. Now it says that believers, they shall drink. And if they drink, if any, they deadly drink thing, any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. That the mean you go around hunting for bottles of poison. That's right. The very first word there is what? If. Yeah. If. They now, any deadly thing. if it says if, that was not your intentions. That's right. You didn't know it. Right. 
You see a big skull and crossbone, and it has on there poison. That's right. You ain't a believer. You's a fool. That's a fool. That's right. If they do it, and if when you do it, you're unaware. That's right. That's right. What happened? If they drink any deadly thing, it shall they not won't hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. They shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. All right, now you got to go through the book of Acts and it's still talking about believers That's right. and find out what believers laid hands on the sick, the sick and they recovered. You don't find a mother in a church. You, the Bible said call the elder women mothers and the younger sisters. And you don't find no mothers or no sisters going through the church of Jesus Christ while the apostles was walking the earth Lay your hands on anybody no. for them to recover. That's right. That's right. But you apostolics, you tell the old mothers so they can rub you down with oil like you greasing a chicken. <laughs> Amen. In the book of Acts chapter 9 and at verse 37. Your bishop is making a fool out of you. Yeah. Who? All of you that do it. That's right. Give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 9, we're at verse 37. You want to do like Elijah, put the wood in order. That's right. Uh -huh. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died. Yes. And when they had washed, they laid her in an upper chamber. They laid her in an upper chamber. And for as much as Lydia was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there. Yes. They sent unto him two men, uh -huh. desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Yes. Then Peter arose. Then Peter arose. And went with them when he was come. Then what? They brought him into the upper chamber uh -huh. and all the widows stood by him weeping and showing wait a minute and the widows the women was there that's that's right uh -huh. that's right the, the, not one widow no not one widow the, and all the widows all the widows stood by him weeping, stood by him weeping and showing the coats and garments which dorcas made yeah while she was with them uh -huh. but peter put them all forth peter get out time for y'all to get out and kneel down and pray and kneel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take god and kneel down and pray and turning him to the body he said turned tabitha, to the body and said tabitha arise get up and she opened her eyes she opened her eyes and when she saw peter when she saw peter she sat up she sat up Hallelujah. not when she saw the other women she used to know no no not when she saw the widows when she saw peter she sat up hallelujah come on back to bible hallelujah all right hallelujah let's deal with the lord's supper <laughs> that's right let's deal with the lord's supper yeah because this is where the world have erred. that's right now let's go and see what jesus said how he administered it and then we we'll get the book of Corinthians yeah. after Jesus died and ascended above all heavens and see how the apostles continue the teaching. That's right. What are you doing? I'm comparing, comparing. what you so-called apostolics and other churches do yeah. with the Bible. Okay. Now you can cuss me out, get mad, fuss, yell, but you get mad at the wrong thing. Williams is giving you chapter and verse. That's right. Verse. And not one book is named the book of Genesis. No. Not the one. book of Geno. Not one. Not one! Not one. All right, let's get this. Now in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 26, we'll start at verse 17. Follow me and get me. Now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus. And what? Saying unto him, where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? Where do you want us to uh, prepare the Passover to commemorate how God spared the lives of the Jews, the Hebrews? When the death angel flew over because the blood was put over the door post. And when the death angel passed over, Hallelujah. it spared the firstborn, blessed God of God's people. That's right. Amen. And it took out the firstborn of the Egyptians. That's right. Had a feast to commemorate it. And he and said, go into the city to such a man and say unto him, Yes. The master saith, my time is at hand. All right. I will keep the Passover at thy, at thy house with my disciples. All right. Now notice. Mm. They was already going to prepare a meal. That's right. Passover. Passover. Dealing with what God done for the saints in the Old Testament. That's right. All right. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. Yeah. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them. And, what? and they made ready the Passover. They made ready the meal. Now when the even was come. When, uh oh. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now I'm pointing out the time of day. Now when the even was come. Blessed be the name of God. Blessed be the name of God. Yeah. Blessed be the name of God. Now when the even was come. When evening Amen. was come. He sat down with the twelve. He sat down with the twelve. And as they did eat. And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto verily, you, 
I say to you that one of you shall betray me. One of you going to backslide. And they were exceeding sorrowful and began every one of them to say unto him, Lord, yes. is, is it I? Uh -huh. And he answered and said, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, uh -huh. the same shall betray me. Yes. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. Mm -hmm. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Uh -huh. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Come on. Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? Yeah. Amen. It's something to know you're going to do something and still hypocrite. That's right. Want to blend in with everybody so you don't stand out. That's right. Hey, is, is, is it going to be me, Jesus? Master, is it I? Uh -huh. He said unto him, thou hast said. Wait a minute. <laughs> Notice when the other said, is I, Jesus didn't respond, thou said. No. But when Judas <laughs> said, is it I? Thou hast said. You the devil. You know who you are. <laughs> That's right. Thank <laughs> God. You know what you're about to do. That's right. All right. And as they were eating. As they were already indulging in a meal. That's right. So the ingredients for the Lord's Supper was already on the table. That's right. It was already present because it was a part of the Passover meal. That's right. Listen. And as they were eating, uh, Jesus took bread and blessed it. Jesus. All right. All right. Now, this is what many of you apostolics do. You take the bread and the wine and your bishop pray over it at the same time. Right. That's what you do. That's right. And you better not tell me that's the way Jesus did it. No. No, 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 no. Oh. You better not tell me that. Amen. We're going to strike this out precept upon precept. Right. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. That's right. All right, listen. St. Matthew 26 and that verse 20. Listen closely. And as they were eating. As they were eating. Jesus took bread and blessed it. He took bread and blessed it. And break it. And break it. And gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, now eat hold my it. body. The wine wasn't served before the bread. That's right. That's right. Many of you apostolics, you do it any kind of way. Yeah. You take the wine first, yeah. bread afterward. Right. That's wrong. Amen. So I say, what difference does it make? Because the bread represents body. Right. Suffering of body. Right. And the wine represents the shedding of blood. He didn't shed blood before he suffered. He shed blood after his after. suffering was over That's and he died. But one of the soldiers with a spear. Give chapter verse. Now in the book of St. John chapter 19, we're at verse 34. And I want to oh. work on the time of day. Right. That the supper must be served. That's right. And uh, should it be served in the morning or in, or in the daytime or nighttime? In nighttime. All right. St. John chapter 19, we'll start at verse 33. Listen. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, already dead, they break not they his legs. They break not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear did pushed what? aside, uh -huh. and forthwith came there out blood and water. All right, let's go back to the Lord's Supper. Let's itemize it. Back in Matthew chapter 26 and verse 26. Listen, good. And as they were eating, as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it. He took bread and prayed over it. And break it. And then he broke it and gave it to the disciples now if any of you take the lord's supper and the preacher served the bread but don't break it he's not giving jesus the proper respect that's right he got to do it just like jesus done it that's right he got to break it so it can show forth the suffering of jesus christ that's right uh -huh. and as they were eating jesus took bread and blessed it and then what and break it and break it and gave it to the disciples gave it to the follower and said take eat take Eat. Eat. This is my body. This is my body. And. And then I want. What? 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 what give chapter and verse. That was Matthew twenty six and verse. 26. And then I want to get Luke where he used the term uh, broken. Right. And I also want to get Corinthians. All right, real quick. Now in the book of Matthew twenty six and verse twenty seven. Yes. Oh, we'll start again in verse twenty six. All right. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it. And blessed. And break it. Remember, he prayed over the bread first. That's right. Uh -huh. And gave it to the disciples. Yes. And said, "Take, eat. This is Take, my eat, body. Take, eat. This is my body. And he took the cup. And he took the glasses. And he took the cup. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He no, did. listen. Shut your mouth. He took the cup. Hush your mouth. He took the cup. <laughs> Amen. 